Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. This time I'm going to talk about how I can count how many observations I get for a certain condition or what the sum of certain observations is if I select only a few of them or what the average thereof is. So if you're a bit familiar with Excel, it's similar to a count if, sum if or average if condition from there. So how are we going to go about this? Well, I have my orders table here, which consists of different orders differentiated by their order ID. If I want to know, for example, what products actually belong to order A001, I could do this with this simple query. Get the product code from orders and in particular only where the order ID is A001. But I might also be interested in how many positions are there in A001. So not so much as in I want to know the three product codes, but I want to know how many products codes will he report back. That's the first thing we can take a look at. That's what I'm going to do here if I'm actually going to use the count function. So if I go with select and then count, I'm going to put this into round brackets. So he counts how many product codes will he get from orders where the order ID is A001. Let's save and run it. And we see three. So there's actually three belonging to A001. Yeah, that's the first three. Well, counting is one thing I can do. However, it might also be interesting because here I have how many of these products are ordered. So how many in total have been ordered? So that for the A001, there's four of this, two of this, one of this. So in total, I would have seven products which were ordered. Well, I could also do this in a similar fashion. However, I'm not going to count here. I'm going to sum up. I'm going to sum up. What am I going to sum up? I'm going to sum up the quantity. So here, this is O dot quantity from orders where the order ID is A001. Okay, let's save and take a look here. So that's actually the seven. He added up all these first three numbers. That's something which I could do with count or with sum. Well, at this case, it wouldn't make so much sense to say, on average, he ordered this many of the products. But if ever you're interested in averages, we can also do this here in just switching from sum to AVG average, which gets you the average of those numbers. So in other words, this gets you the average of four, two, and one. And well, let's take a look here. So it's 2.333. Well, yes, that's your average of 3, 2, and 1. In this case, this is not really this helpful, not this practical of an example, but this could, for example, make sense if you have, for example, income data, want to know someone who works in sales, how much do they make on average? Or how much money do they bring in? How many clients do they bring in? on average. And well, that's already everything I wanted to talk about. The count part conditioned, the sum part conditioned, and the average part conditioned. Of course, I can also do this unconditionally. I would just leave out the last line and he will calculate the average of all orders without any conditioning on only do this for this one particular order. Well, that's it. 
So I hope you enjoyed it, and I say goodbye, and see you next time.